Hello and welcome back. Um, yeah, well, I kind of messed up on something, so I'm going to pretty much go over how to fix it. Um, if you notice around the front here, um, this part here should actually be inset, which should be inserted, and um, oh, it should be like so. Uh, if we um select these and turn snapping on shift tab and just snap that to that vertex and I'm going to quickly turn on ring cast keys so you can see what I'm doing alright and I'm basically going to oh, actually I want to undo this I, I inserted it way too far I kind of I oh know I haven't alright so yeah pretty much delete um that part. So go on here and just snap that up there like so. And I'm going to select these down here. That that corner just throws me off man, it looks weird. Uh, so we select them like so and we just extrude back here and hit X so it only goes along the X not diagonal. Whatever. And we're going to delete these faces like so, and we want to bridge that and that. But now if I go into object mode and unhide object, our high poly one don't have that, so we're going to have to pretty much move that over. So basically what I'm going to do is duplicate the um, low poly. Uh, I turned snapping off there. And um, I'm going to turn snapping on quickly and to see if I can kind of line it up, isn't lining up. So, uh, uh, but, but there's going to be alright anyway for now. And we're going to just basically zoom in on this. And we're going to select from here to here. And we want to select that front part here. Um, not so certain about the top part there. And deselect that. And I'm going to select these down here as well. Um, I'm going to duplicate that along the Y and just snap it there. And Control I and I'm going to delete all that other stuff here. Right. Now we've got this in place, then we can basically. Hope uh, we should be able to do it this way. Just be careful of the origin. Um, Alright, so the high poly origin is over here, and we we want it to be over there. But this is a this is off a little bit. So I'm going to select this and that, and now do Control J. Nope, um, it put in um, the low poly group and we don't want that because of um, origin is over here. So we go and select the low poly first, then the high poly, control J. Right, and now it put in the high poly group, it didn't rename it as um, low poly and origin is still in place. And we're going to quickly um, make sure these are alright, no they're not. All right. So basically um, what we're going to do is actually we're going to need to add another edge loop cut here because there's one extra one like so but I'm going to turn on this little thing down here and I'm going to select um, vertex mode and select these uh, okay not going Okay, that isn't going to work, but um, so basically, what I'm going to do is hit L on this and turn snapping on, and we're snapping set to okay, and we just snap it there, and now if we turn snapping off, it will actually move these set from um, we had to now. Join these up, so I'm going to hit G 
and turn snapping on and it will just snap to our vertex if you um, don't if, if yours isn't snapping to vertex you can come down here and say it to um, vertex snapping and yeah okay now we've got that set up that that will um, be nice for our um, ambient infusion so now we can pretty much hide that again um, and we need to basically unwrap that part we just um, added but as we was doing some stuff with the hand grip earlier um, like these points here on there, there's like two vertexes here and they're not actually properly connected so basically what I'm going to do is um, turn um, sync off so um, it only selects you can only see the on the UV space that what you have selected so I'm going to select the whole model for now and now I'm going over to this little tab next to the face selection um, I don't know why it isn't why, why you can't do that when you're in a um, sync mode when, when you, but uh, it, it is what it is so I'm going to basically select both of them and just move them over there instead of uh, actually selecting the faces because when I was selecting the faces before the edges was actually connected up um, to other parts of the UV and uh, moving more from what I wanted so I'm just going to move them and basically what we're going to do is um, pin and if we go on to edge mode you can actually see that they are pinned and that's fine um, and now what we're going to do is pretty much to turn that sync back on so it's if we deselect it we can um, still see what's going on there right. okay so now I'm going to basically um, just add a loop cut um, some um, loop cuts here not loop cuts um, I'm going to mark these seams like so and I'm going to select everything control A and control P and that just pretty much um, scales everything um, correctly and then packs it and we're going to pretty much select everything and just do um, unpin and yeah that's all we need to do to fix that um, so yeah I'm sorry about that but now we um, got that fixed uh, we can move on to um, baking and stuff so uh, that'll be a separate figure yeah that'll be a separate video so yeah um, thank you for watching